welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Is this a better angle, do you think? Let me know in the comments, because I was filming from the other side before, because I've caught, I've caught this side, and then I've just realised that I can squeeze the um, tripod in on the end of the table. So um, I'm thinking, oh, okay, we'll try that. And today is Wednesday, so it's Wednesdays we wear pink. So she's already in pink, but she's in nighttime pink. So that's different, isn't it? So I'm going to put her in daytime pink. <laughs> so just in case you don't know, and I do have some new subscribers, so thank you very much. Um, if it's somebody coming back, I'm glad you found me again. I've come back and so I'm bending under the table to get her clothes. I've put them on the um, bottom shelf. And if you're new, thank you for coming along and joining the madhouse. <laughs> oh, it's not really a madhouse. I, I'm pretty sensible sometimes. <laughs> so let's see what we've got. So um, I'll just put these. I don't know where to put them now. I'll just put them down a second. So I've got this really cute little outfit that I thought I'd go like in between today because it's going to be hot later. So she's got these gorgeous little pants that are in a pink and white gingham check. And then there's a little top that goes with it. And these are by Babadoo. I'll just turn it right around. And this is gorgeous. I do like this. She's got another one that's very similar. And it's got um, a white background. I always forget to describe the clothes, don't I? Uh, a white background and there's some tiny pink stars and things you can barely see um, it's got a white ruffle neck white pink ruffle neck I haven't finished my second coffee yet it's over on the side some grey stars and some grey um, sort of I always say outline but they're like drawings aren't they of um, doodles of giraffes that got pink patches dots whatever you call for what giraffes have and then because of the um, the way today is going to be, um, I decided that I put on, oh, there's a little headband I thought would go with it because it's pretty much the same pink. And I've got a little pink cardi until it gets warm later, the baby pram one. And I've got little nutmeg pink booties, which is all pretty much the same pink. Or I've got these little pink socks, but I, they're looking big to me. Yeah, they're going to be too big. I'll leave them. They'd be better for like Narnia or something. So let's get started. Just move these things out the way a little bit. It's, it's lovely having the... I'm enjoying the, the newness of the nursery. I tried to put the light shade up yesterday. I got a light shade from Ikea. And um, in Ikea, they are, you have to buy the little adapter... I don't know if I mentioned it already, but you have to buy a little adapter because otherwise the hole where you put it up on the ceiling, you know, on the light fitting, is too big. And I forgot to pick it up and I went to put it up and I thought, and it's too big. And I thought, oh yeah, of course it is because I didn't pick up the bloody thing. Um, so I thought, right, that's okay. So then I had to order one off Amazon and that's not arrived yet because um, I just ordered it and then I didn't check the post you know when it would come out because I was ordering a, a couple of other things at the same time and I just oh, just didn't think about it and I'm thinking next day you know pretty much and of course it wasn't was it and it's just it's coming by Royal Mail it's been dispatched but it'll probably be today tomorrow something like that um but then last night I remembered that in the living room I bought a um a Tiffany effect lampshade like a mock Tiffany light shade and that had the same thing and I bought an adapter for that and I've been thinking about it since I came back from Ikea on Friday and I was thinking I'm sure I've got one of those things somewhere I'm sure I have I'm sure we had to use one somewhere else look at it um so I got up there last night and I thought well the shade wants cleaning anyway so I'll take the shade down and I'll pinch the thing out of it just to try it and see if it fits. So I, I take the thing out of it, which was really like fiddly. And then, um, cause it's sort of wedged in there obviously, isn't it? Cause it's, that's the way it fits. Once you put it in and not thinking you're gonna move it, but I got it out to just a bit to, I felt like, oh, annoyance, because um, you have to sort of fiddle with it a bit to get it out. And my hands aren't as strong as they used to be. Um, so it was a bit of a faff. 
but I got it out and it was fine and then I put it in the new lampshade and I put it up, got, under, got the steps out, got up on the steps to change it over or hang it wherever on the light fitting and then it was too small. So I thought, oh, is there any standards with these? Will the one that's coming from Amazon um, be the same as this one? And that's not going to fit either. Well, I thought, oh, right, now I'm going to do it. And then I thought, well, I'll wait until the one comes from Amazon. Because obviously I put the other one back then. Because I washed the light shade. And then I put it back up. And I'm waiting for the one to come from Amazon. And I'm hoping that's going to fit. But if it's the same as the one that I took down, which I think it is. It's not metal, I don't think. Then um, they're like a hard plastic. So I should be there with something chipping away at this inner circle till it's just because it's only a couple of millimeters you need it just will not go up over this screwy bit you know where you push it up and then you put the bottom back on and then you put the light bulb in i don't know what these things are called um oh i'm out of sync there because i've got a little popper left over you put you that way sweetheart oh, i might get too much of my arms this way i might turn on and try and work it then i can put the um tripod right at the very end of the table because i hadn't thought about that because it's all different isn't it and you're just trying things out and i thought about the placement of the table one two three four under the window for the light i mean i i knew that i would have trouble probably in this room with the light and i'd have to get a ring light again but it's, this is the place that I've got and I'm lucky to have it so and it's only a case of getting it right isn't it let's try it again shall we sweetie right let's make sure I've got the top now there we go down so there we are and we're nearly there yes we've got it right this time oh look at that isn't she just beautiful so can you jot your dum dum back for a minute or are you all right? Like, see if she can say, I love this outfit. And I like the other ones like it. I've got like it too. And I've got this little white dress set as well that came with um, Samuel when he came. Because originally he was a girl, wasn't it? I'm sure it came with him. And that is gorgeous too. They're among my favourites. Let's get my, um, I think I might go toothbrush today. And just squirt a bit of water on it. Oh, where's the thing? There it is. Yeah, so I knew I'd have showed her the light because when I, this used to be like used as part of my craft room and I do my journaling things in here, then um, you used, even in the daytime, even in the summer, you always had to have the light on because otherwise, um, or a desk lamp or something, just for that extra little bit of light. And as you get older, it's more of a problem, isn't it? And it doesn't matter, um, you know, normally but when you're filming you need to, to be able to see what you're supposed to be looking at don't you but i have to say that through the camera even though it's shaded it looks quite shady um you know dark she is looking better than she does in the room but uh she's a sweetheart she really is mm. so let's have a look at these um where they put the headband oh it's wedged on the end silly me I glanced, I could see pink in the corner of my eye because I put the sleep suit and the um, hat that she had on last night in the, um, on the side of the cot. And I could see it in the corner of my eye, so I automatically went to go there. Oh, look, that's adorable. Look at you, beautiful girl. I worked out how on my phone, because I used to have it off to a T on my um, <laughs> little big feet. Which way are they supposed to go? Because I would have said down, but because it's a pico edge, but it wants, no, it does want to go down, because that's the way it's sewn at the back. It's just uh, <coughs> having a go look. <laughs> um, yeah, the other one's down too. <laughs> and these are from um, Nutmeg. I did have the blue ones as well. There you are. On set. Oh, that's really sweet. She looks adorable, doesn't she? I think I'll leave her like that and I'll put the little cardi on. Or should I put the little cardi on now? Oh, there's a thing on there. Let's pull that off and 
like a th loose thread. Got it. <laughs> so, um, oh, I start concentrating. <laughs> It's looking nice out because obviously as I look out the window I get the pleasure of seeing the windows of the um, bedrooms opposite but looking just to the side I can see out onto the main street and um, it's looking nice and sunny out there it's just that like I said before we're around the side in this room so it's always a little bit darker I mean in the real height of summer it's a lot better but um, we're doing okay and we're, you know, and I'm loving the space and having it. And it's every morning I'm like, oh, when can I go in the nursery? When do I, you know, um, what can I do? <laughs> Is it, have I got an excuse to come in here? Like, I don't need an excuse to go in my own rooms. But well, actually it looks pretty because it's even more pink, isn't it? There you go. Oh, sweetheart. She looks adorable. Really sweet. Oh. Well, I, I don't know if I told you, I did t I did say when I did the um, nursery, like little mini tour and update of what I'd done so far, um, that I'd pulled the, my leg, then I tore the ligament, my leg was really painful. But um, it's getting better now, I'm not going to go yoga this afternoon. Um, don't get excited, it's only chair yoga for seniors, but it is quite a workout actually, and we do a lot of knee exercises and things, which is really good for me. It's just what I need, and it's... You know, it's nice and social as well, which is lovely. Um, but <laughs> I don't get on the floor and cock my legs and things all around. <laughs> Those days are long gone. <laughs> um, but, you know, you've got to do something for your mobility, haven't you? But I'm thinking today, I'm looking outside and I'm thinking it, it would be lovely to go for a walk with the pram, um, especially early in the morning. So I think when my leg's a bit better, because it's still a little bit sort of tight feeling, and when I'm walking, it starts to hurt after a while. But once that's better, and, and it's a really early morning, I think it'll only be a few more days, and then I think I'll get her in the pram, and we'll do a little walk along the seafront and do an all early, like really early morning, and um, when it's quiet, so that you can uh, enjoy the early morning and also um, see what it's like down there. It's lovely in the mornings, really early. Get a lot of um, walkers, you know, and um, dog walkers and things, but it's it's quieter and it's nice, and you can just waddle along and um, enjoy it. So I, I think I'll do that in the next couple of days. I might aim for the end of the week, but we'll see how it goes. So there you go, because um, you never know by then with British weather, we might be, um, you know, six feet in snow. <laughs> but there we are, everyone, and she's looking absolutely adorable. Um, let's bring you around this way a little bit. So you can see what I was looking at. There she is. Oh, that's a good spot actually, isn't it? But can I work around the tripod? <laughs> that's the thing. There you are, so there's Lydia. All pretty in pink. So thank you for popping in. <clears throat> thank you all for your lovely comments as always. Um, and take care of yourselves. Look after yourselves and each other. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Take care, lots of love. Bye. I was getting ready to film, I glanced across, and look who's there, <laughs> Loki, <laughs> do you think he thinks he blends in, what are you doing in there, look, <laughs> oh. he says, well I'm sort of matchy matchy colours, <laughs> bless him, little space invader. <laughs>